Good day guys, my name is Loaz the Smoo. Welcome back again to another reaction video, man. If you're here for the first time, please smile. Thank you very much. And please click down below and subscribe and like this video, guys, because I've got more videos coming your way. Today's video is Sad Guru. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Sad Guru. Sad Guru, I think. Sad Guru on Prophet Muhammad. I did a few videos or maybe one video by Sad Guru and... Some people don't really, um, I can say some people don't really, some people don't really agree with what he's been saying and some of the stuff that he says, but I'm just uh, curious. Curiosity is why we're here. I just want to know what he's saying and I want to find out. So let's get to it. When we say Islam, we talk about Muhammad. Mm. Muhammad said, whole earth is a mosque for me. Can you, talk, can you make a more inclusive statement than that? Please let the Muslims live by that. When we say Hindus, now they're talking about Ram. Rama is that kind of man. Just to, out of his integrity, he gives up his uh, uh, kingdom. He's a coronated king, but he walks away into the forest. Yeah. And his wife is stolen. Terrible things are done. But when he kills his enemy who stole his wife and did terrible things to the people, he repents having killed him so that is the man you're fighting for don't forget and for the leftist let them remember all this conniving nonsense that they're doing everywhere even today they're continuing like this i want to remind them they are not progeny of joseph stalin or mao Tung. they are supposed to represent karl marx who thought of an equitable society a society without uh, you know, disparities, a compassionate economy which will nurture every human being. Mm. This is what he represents. Please let all three remember this. Right now this fanning of uh, that, uh, you know, Hindu Muslims must fight, this whole thing is unfortunately not coming from Islamic community or largely from Hindu community. There are fringe elements on both sides, I'm not saying no, mm. but largely it is coming from left-leaning extremists. What is their interest in religion? They should not even be interested in religion. Yeah. But they are always playing with this. I request all of them, please understand whom you represent. You represent Muhammad, you cannot do this. If you represent Ram, you cannot do this. If you represent Karl Marx, you cannot do this. So left-leaning extremists. Now, the Prime Minister has come up with a term to describe some of them. He says that uh, they have occupied a vast influence over the minds of this country because they are located very close to the center of power. I mean, you can call it the Latian zone, you can call it the Khan market uh, consensus, what have you. Uh, mm. But do you believe these individuals have a motivated interest or are they just ideologically driven to doing this? See, that is what I said. Their ideology is about Karl Marx. They are motivated because, unfortunately, they have understood this. When Marx envisioned communism, he thought richest nations will go for communism because he believed out of our humanity we will become communist. Mm. But right now, they have understood only if there is poverty there will be communism. To convert people into communism, you need endemic poverty in this nation. So they are working towards that. They must be defeated because this is not good for the country. The country is striving to progress. People are striving to fulfill their aspirations. And some people, their aspiration is in, based in poverty as a capital. Very interesting, very eye-opening and interesting. Uh, Sadhguru, I want to ask you that inevitably in a court case there will be one winner and loser. I'm telling you, yep. they're, they're... Yes. No, go ahead, go ahead. You were saying something. Go ahead. No, I'm telling you how, how far this goes means, how far this goes means, this is not just about temple and mosque. These same people are going about campaigning. If you plant a lot of trees, it's dangerous for the country. How do you... <laughs> what do you say about that? <laughs> Very interesting. Someone says, I am Muslim, but I can see Sad Guru is more Muhammad than any other Muslim. I like to watch all your videos. Wow. 
I don't know what's been going on guys so I'm not gonna touch more on this because I don't have any information but I will see what's going on I will try and see if I can find some information so I don't have much to say about the conflict because no information so I don't want to make false claims or act as if I'm smart no but I like the stuff that he's saying that I like that. I like that. I like what he's been saying that people should just leave Muslims alone to just practice their religion, you know? Leave at each religion to practice their own religion, you know? I like that. I like that he's like, even the, um, the comment that is said here by the person says that the person said he likes Sadhguru, but he can say that Sadhguru is more Muhammad, you know? So that, that is good, you know? That is really good. So yeah, I think I'll watch more of his videos. I think the last video, maybe there's something that he said that didn't make people feel connected to him or connected to the statements he was making. But yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Please tell me down below what video you would like me to see, suggest content, or say something nice. I will make sure I try and respond guys. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching and please keep smiling guys. I'll see you next time. Stay positive, mental energy, just be you man. Always do the best that you can do and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.